This is Faculty Focus from Fairleigh Dickinson University. In this episode, we feature Fernando Alonso, senior lecturer in the Petroselli College of Business and Law. He also directs the Latino Promise Program, which provides support for traditional age Latino students, and Puerta al Futuro, which enables Spanish-speaking immigrants to learn English while completing degree programs. The Latino immigrant uh, comes here and uh, they have two barriers. There's other barriers, but two main barriers. One of them is the language. That's obviously, they gotta learn the language. And so they're frustrated trying to get uh, a decent job here. Uh, the other one is the credibility issue, and that developed because I think uh, um, at the beginning of the program when we started it, it was primarily for an associates with no education. You want to get a college degree, we're going to start you off. What we found is there were a lot of people coming here with degrees from Latin America. We're talking doctors, lawyers, engineers, I mean some really you know, credible backgrounds. And still frustrated, not able to get the job, language first, but then when they would show their resumes, the employer will say, I don't understand, there's a university from somewhere, I don't kind of kind of get it, I, I don't even know what, what you're in. And so they couldn't get the job they wanted to get. This program really is a door opener to getting them to, I guess, uh, learn the English language is the first thing, but also giving them the degrees they need to give them the credibility just to get in the door. Uh, the uh, Latino community is the fastest growing community in the United States, and uh, we're, FDU is doing a great job of opening the door for them to getting them the, which I truly believe is a great way of achieving the American dream is uh, pursuing education because education really gives you the credibility. Um, these uh, um, immigrants come here and they are trying to get to the same level of uh, job satisfaction that they had in their countries. And we've had people who have been persecuted there or you know, looking for a better opportunity come here and then they are doing things like cleaning floors or helping, being, being some kind of a uh, uh, blue collar labor where they were a white collar worker that we know here in the United States. So by coming here, coming to Puerta, uh, they're able to uh, uh, get, get the proper skills so that they can pursue those particular jobs. And of course, achieve the American dream is something I talk about all the time. This program is unique because they are able to come in have their ESL classes, and if their level of English is really low, we do this testing for them. So we, we're teaching them not only just, you know, hi, how you doing, kind of conversational English. Academic writing is very important, and so they will have their academic classes at the beginning, especially at the very low level, all in Spanish. Then they progress to bilingual, and then they pro progress to all English. So by the time they get to see me in the American Experience course, the class is entirely in English. they all speak the same language. Uh, however, the, there are cultural differences uh, between the um, Caribbean group, for instance, the Puerto Rican, Dominican, and Cuban, um, and the uh, Central American or the uh, South American. Um, same words sometimes have different meanings. So besides the language itself, that is the, in general together, there are some differences, but there's also cultural differences. They have different things that are important to them. You don't have to be in one particular place, for instance, being a Hackensack campus, which is that traditional campus field. There are off-sites. One of them is in Dover, so that takes care of the western part of New Jersey. There is a, um, another one in Elizabeth that we just opened, but we have plans to go down toward Perth, Amboy, and Trenton, and other places in the state. The federal government's given us a, a half a million dollar grant where we have been able to uh, put together now online classes, both in ESL and academic. And what will happen here now is that people worldwide, from Colombia to Peru to Argentina, Mexico, or even Spain, can take our courses in the universities, hopefully, uh, and, uh, and be part of our Puerto Futuro program and experience the same thing that we have. Uh, 